This is uh, Silvia Pavoni, economics editor of the bank, and I'm talking to Enrica Garcia, who is the president of CAF, the Latin America um, Development Bank. We are in Washington for the uh, IMF World Bank's annual meeting, um, and we were just chatting earlier about the importance of regional integration in Latin America. What is the role that CAF is playing to help uh, spur progress in this area? Well, certainly, uh, regional integration is a, a must. Uh, uh, to be able to be competitive in the world economy, first of all, and secondly, to have a development model that will be reconciling not only the issues of stability, but efficiency, but also very important, to have an inclusive society where you'll have the majority of the people uh, becoming part of the, the success that the region can have. Uh, we are very pragmatic in this because it, it, sometimes in trade issues there are a lot of discussions, but they're one of the elements that is very crucial for, uh, to, to foster integration, to move from a level of trade that today is below 20% in, in, in Latin America. 20% uh, uh, of trade, only 20%, below 20% is within the region. If you compare that to Europe, it's 70%, Asia is 45%. If you want to move that, uh, you need to have better connectivity. So we are being very pragmatic in financing infrastructure, energy, telecommunications, roads, ports, uh, and CAF has become a leader in that. In the last uh, 10 years, we have approved approximately 60 projects of, of regional integration, connection between two countries, at least. So in the uh, areas of infrastructure, uh, 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 energy. energy, and all of those. Mm -hmm. uh, 60 that, that imply an investment of uh, over $30 billion, of which CAF has put about uh, $8 billion. Mm -hmm. That's a very important area. And of course, we support the private sector in. Uh, in endeavors of many uh, companies in Latin America that have the capacity to 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 work uh, and, and, and de develop their their innovation and so forth in different countries, we support in them. Uh, now, for some, when looking at Latin America, the PEP seems to be a bit of a broken picture. So you tend to see maybe some of the countries that um, rest on the Pacific side of the region working in a way that is different from others. So, and we also uh, see this reflected in the trade unions that have come up. So we have the Pacific Alliance that includes Chile, Peru, Colombia, uh, and Mexico now as well, um, and Mercosur, which has Brazil, Argentina, uh, Paraguay, Uruguay, which maybe is going ahead at a different speed. How did you see this as a problem and what is CAF doing to maybe try and, and make them work uh, and develop at the same speed? Well, I think uh, the, the main thing is to reconcile, to see that Latin America should try to find ways to, to, to integrate in a more comprehensive way. I think the Pacific Alliance is a very good, positive thing, no doubt. But uh, let's not forget what's Mercosur. Mercosur countries, you have Brazil, you have Argentina, you have Uruguay, Paraguay, Bolivia, so forth. Uh, so to try to reconcile that, and also uh, the Pacific is very important, but the Atlantic is also very important. And the Atlantic imp implies that it's going from the United States, Canada, United States, South America, Europe, in Africa. So I think the world has to be uh, more pragmatic and uh, not try to, to focus just on one, one type of, uh, of relationship, but to try to be uh, very important to be competitive, to try to, to develop uh, you know, new uh, ways of production, uh, to move in the case of Latin America, especially South America, move away uh, from what I would call two high dependence on commodity exports, which have been very good in the recent years, but you have to move to other type of productions. And that implies more technology, more education, better institutions to attract correct direct investment, and of course to open the economies in a way that will be compatible with this objective. So do you think that maybe now is the time for the world's uh, trade talks also to kickstart again? Well, are you hopeful? Uh, oh no, I'm not very hopeful because there are too many differences, but one has to be optimistic. Not, let's not put aside those, those talks. Uh, you need a more open world, That's, uh, th there's no doubt. Protectionism is, is a, a great enemy of good development, especially is an enemy of the poor. Thank you very much for your comments. Okay, thank you very much.